Hi everyone, my name is Marcy Chariot and I'm going to take you through the installation of Anaconda for Python running on Tensor, running TensorFlow in Jupyter Notebook. I hope this installation procedure will take the shortest time as possible and I hope it gets to simplify your installation. Yeah, and first of all, we'll see what Anaconda means. And Anaconda is a free and open distribution of Python and that distribution equipped with all the necessary tools needed for data science and machine learning applications. It has a couple, a several number of importance, which is it comes with Python distribution libraries pre-installed. It comes with most tools used in data science and machine learning together in just one click. And then the virtual environment enables it to isolate different libraries and versions and has a short and simple setup. It is also secure. Yeah, so straight to what we're here for, which is the installation. So the first procedure and step is to go to the anaconda.com website. Yeah, at the website, you'll get a menu bar at the, you'll get a menu bar at the top, go to the product section and choose the individual edition, which is purposefully made for open source distribution. Being a junior data scientist, I think this is just the best for me because I'm not using it for any enterprise. I'm not using it professionally or anything advanced profession or anything i'm just using i'm just looking into open source contributions and also improving my skills so after clicking it you go to the download button that will lead you to the versions suited for whichever type that you want there's one for windows there's one for mac os and one for linux since i'm using windows 10 i'll go with the 64-bit graphical installer which is for 66 mb and my installation, my sorry, my download begins, my setup download begins. Yeah, this might take quite some time, which is yeah, approximately seven minutes from here. And I don't think I'll keep you waiting. So I'll pause this as I do the download and then we catch up once we're done. So once once you're done, you can open the file from whichever location it is, to begin. Yeah, to begin installation. So this this will be the first page. Welcome to Anaconda 3 2020. This is a July version. Yeah, set up. Then you'll just click on next. Yeah, this is the license agreement. You agree to it. Yeah, select installation type. I think just means just Will just be the best for you yeah select the location for the for the folder for the storage of the folder then we'll go to advanced installation options i used add anaconda to my path environment variable then install it and then your installation begins also yeah i hope this won't take much time Once the, install, the installation of the setup is complete, click Next. You can install PyCharm if you like, but for our case, we'll just move to Next, ensure these two boxes are ticked, and click Finish. Yeah, so I think that's all about the installation of Anaconda. So to continue, we'll come to the Start window. we we'll come to the Start window and look for anaconda prompt that we'll use for the installation of packages and maybe opening up our windows activating our environment yeah and many other things so let me close this and enlarge this yeah so to see if our jupyter notebook is was installed together with the anaconda with anaconda you will type on your command prompt Jupyter Notebook. Yeah. This will open Jupyter. Yeah. If that shows, then 
you have your notebook on the browser. Yeah, clearly this is how it will appear and you'll be good to go. You just get to maneuver around it with whatever you want to do with it. So we'll minimize this and continue. To interrupt this page, you click Control double C. The page will be interrupted. This will give us a chance to continue the next procedure, which is installation of TensorFlow. So we'll create a virtual environment, which is which is going to create an TensorFlow. You, you click on Y to proceed, yeah. Once we're done, we activate the environment. Yeah, once once this, this shows TensorFlow at the beginning before it shows your directory, this shows that you're already in the environment and you can continue with whatever you want to do with with your honor with your anaconda so to install this this was the environment and now to install tensorflow we we'll use pip install tensorflow this might take some time also So this process, this the installation of TensorFlow might take a, a quite some time. Yeah, so you'll just be patient with it. Once you're done, shut down this, shut down the window, then restart it again to activate to activate TensorFlow. Okay, just type activate TensorFlow. Yeah, then after activating TensorFlow, you can, you, we will install IPyKernel, which is, which will use this command line, Python M IPy kernel install user in TensorFlow. Mm, TensorFlow. GPU. Then just click on Enter. Then after this, you could open your Jupyter notebook to see if notebook to see if to to see if your TensorFlow environment is visible on your notebook. Yeah, click on this is the interface of the notebook. And then go to the right where there's upload and new. Click on new. Then yes, here we have TensorFlow GPU. Yeah, and the window opens. Yep, and you're good to go. Your kernel is ready. Yeah, that's all I had. And to, to install packages, other packages that you will use during the machine learning programming, you could use Conda install panda secret line so we will begin with pandas matplotlib 
Egyptian notebook. Sci fi, sci fi, sorry. Secret land. Secret land, I think this, these are mostly what we use with TensorFlow. Then the, the packages will be downloaded. This will also take some time. And after that, I think you'll be good to go. Yeah, and your environment is now re your environment and your notebook is now ready to work on. Thank you guys. See you next time.